Welcome back to Insta Fipsy Fishing. Thanks a lot guys for tuning in. It has been a crazy start to 2022 so far. I've had a lot on the go. Not sure how my videos have been turning out so far, but bass season isn't even open yet and I've already got a lot done. I finally caught my first gar pike of my life. I'm gonna roll that clip. I still haven't watched it, so I don't really know what I caught. I kept pressing my GoPro at the wrong time. I was in a kayak. It was a huge, huge gar pike, so it was absolute chaos. So I'm gonna roll that clip, but just bear with me. It might not be the best, but it is my first gar pike. There's a chance I wasn't recording for that. If so, that's a friggin' nightmare. Just let go my first gar pike in my life. A nice 48 incher. Did not plan on catching one out of a kayak because it was absolute mayhem, but it's definitely gonna help with the multi-species tournament. And I'm not sure if gar pike count for the pike tournament, but uh, I'll look up those rules when I get home. But what an amazing experience. So today I'm going to go after gar pike again now that I'm pretty much an expert. I was out here fishing yesterday and I saw a school of 50 gar pike swimming together. I made one cast, I hooked one, I got it to the boat and as I was netting it, it got off. 
and then I trolled right over the school and they all took off and hid. So today I'm gonna to be a little more stealthy, a little more cautious. I've got all of my rods rigged up with gar pike lures only. So I should be able to catch at least one more today. So let's see if I can have my first good gar pike video. So here we go. And hopefully 2022 is filled with more gar pike because they are so fun to catch. Frig, he came with me the whole way and nibbled at it so many times. He let go as I was getting the net. This is why the gar pike are in these shallows, just feeding on these millions and millions of minnows and baby bass fry and everything like that. So as far as I've been told, gar pike are actually really bad for an ecosystem because they just eat everything. Did not expect the water to be so chocolatey today. Just found two more. Haven't scared them yet. Oh yeah, they both want it. Oh, he bit it. He bit it pretty good. They're both kind of interested. The smaller one wants it more for sure. Friggin' bass just hit it. I've got one hooked. My drag is all frigged. I might, I might get this one. Oh. 
No, he's right there. No, the hook is stuck in the net. Yes. 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 Gar pike number two. I've got my second guy pike of my life. Yes. Okay. Got guard pike number two of my life. It took about an hour to find them. I only saw one or two in the first hour and then I've just seen like 10. I've had two or three bites, but oh. Caught this one, <laughs> barely got it in the net because my uh, my lure got stuck in the net so I couldn't scoop him, so I had to flip the net backwards. All right, let's help this guy out. They are strong. He got some of my line in his teeth, so I'm just making sure I get all of that out before letting him go. All right, there is Garpike number two. So cool. A Garpike video, I finally did it. Show them your smile. Wicked. Okay. Make sure he swims off okay. Thank you for being my second, buddy. See ya. Yes, I can catch garpike now. Okay, so I managed to catch one garpike this morning, but I was having lots of issues with my GoPro batteries. I have the GoPro Hero 8, and two out of my four batteries have now bloated, so they get stuck inside the GoPro and then I can't get them out. So I didn't get a ton of footage from this morning. Luckily, I got the whole fish capture on film, but before and after, I barely got anything. I had a few more bites. I probably had four or five bites from Garpike. So I have my two remaining batteries right now. I'm hoping I can catch you know one or two more Garpike and at least make a decent video out of it. But it was super exciting to get that second gar pike of my life. It was a bit smaller than my first one. My first one was pretty giant, 48 and a half inches. So let's see if we can get one or two more for this evening session. So I have four rods rigged up right now. I'll show you what I'm throwing. Uh, number one is the tiniest hula popper I could find. It's actually for bluegill, but the reason I like it is it has such a tiny treble hook. And I find the smaller the hook, the better for gar pike, because you need to get it in between those teeth. They have such a bony mouth that you actually can't really set the hook through their mouth. So you just need to get a small hook kind of tangled in there. So I have a small topwater hula popper. And the fish that I caught this morning was on this tiny little hula popper. I think out of all my lures, this one has provided me with the most bites from Garpike. I've got a small jerk bait on. It's a Guggen Squad Scout Junior jerk bait. Again, the treble hooks are fairly small and it only dives three to five feet, which is a pretty good range for Garpike. They're usually in fairly shallow water, so you don't need much deeper than three to five feet. And most of the time, they're actually gonna be even higher up in the water column than that which is why I mainly use top water. On my third rod right now, I have a jointed Rapala. I have a snap swivel, so I've been changing in and out for that lure. But this floats on the surface, and then when I reel it, it dives a little bit, just a few inches. So I've been getting a lot of follows on that. I might change out these treble hooks to smaller ones at some point. I think that could help. And rod number four, I also have a snap swivel on. Right now, I just have a tiny MEPS spinner, but I'm changing that in and out as well. So that's what I have right now tied on for my four rods. First guy pike sighted. Oh, 
he nipped at it twice. Ooh, he's still there. Oh, there's two here. Oh, there's three. Should be able to get a bite here. Oh, they're nipping at it. Shoot, no. Crap. Boat control is crucial and the friggin' Waves just put me right over top of them. There's three good ones together. The water's a bit murky. It's actually a lot harder to see them than it was earlier. Yes. <laughs> yes. He snapped my lure off just as I caught him. And of course I accidentally turned my camera off instead of on. But we've got another one, number three. Okay, got my third gar pike. This time it only took like five or ten minutes. Got him on the jerk bait. Uh, I saw five like right away and they were all kind of nipping at it. I could feel them tugging on it. This guy got it. And then just as I was netting him, he snapped my line. I caught him in the net. So my jerk bait is somewhere on the bottom here. I'm going to try and find that in a minute. But we'll show you guys the third gar pike I've ever caught and then we'll get him back in the water. Oh, and I had my chest mount GoPro turned off. I had made a few casts and then, um, and then my boat drifted over them, so I didn't think that they would still be there. So I made a cast, turned off my GoPro, and then I saw him nipping at it as it was just sitting there. I thought I turned it back on, but who knows what I'm doing out here. Cute little guy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm catching gar pike two in one day. I've only caught three in my whole life. Might get a measurement on this guy. But, whoa, they're so strong and floppy. Jeez. Let's see if I can turn them around. Just a little 28 incher. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> Big smile for the camera. Okay. Send this little torpedo on his way. Bye. Phone just fell overboard. Done that before. <sighs> Nothing easier to do than friggin' fish and film at the same time. Hey, we're catching gar pike now. Well, I'm sure this video is pretty short. I've had some filming issues. I've had some GoPro battery issues, but we got the main thing accomplished. We got a video with some gar pike in it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing those three gar pike. I did fish for probably like five or six hours. I know there's barely any footage, but uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me catch some gar pike. Hopefully this isn't the only gar pike video that I produce. I'm hoping I can take what I've learned, continue to improve, and continue to catch more gar pike because they are so much fun to target. It's sight fit.
and there we go my gopro battery just died again so let's just wrap this hope you guys enjoyed it if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like make sure to comment and i'll see you guys in the next video